today's video we'll be doing another empties these are one of my favorite videos um, to do so if you're interested in knowing what I've emptied out and what I would repurchase since day two I've reached 250 subscribers it's been almost two or maybe three years since I've been doing this channel I love doing it I have made a lot of changes I'm at a point where I don't wear makeup as much just because we're transitioning to like full-blown summer here in New York City and it does feel like a lot to fill in like even just my eyebrows and that's the most that I do and so you know a lot of times I don't always do makeup and I still want to contribute to my beauty channel but I never know what people want to see because sometimes people watch and then don't leave comments and then I have friends that support me and they're just happy to see me on camera and so I have decided that I'm going to make this sort of like a lifestyle kind of kind of thing where I'll still do beauty I will still talk about skincare but um things that happen in like in terms of like lifestyle that I feel like I can contribute to the channel will definitely be on it so right now I've been having so much fun with like what am I spending my money on and doing empties even though it does feel like I've done a lot of empties and it's repetitive but if I don't shop and I don't use them what will you know so we have the energy b12 this is the nature made and then there's there's nature nature's bounty I have the hair skin and nails gummies with biotin it's 250 micrograms per serving I will not be purchasing this again um, I first got into this brand and this specific one probably like three or maybe four years ago and I liked it I think that they've changed the formula because my nails my like my skin has been really good and my hair is growing but my nails are not growing and I just haven't seen much of a difference since I started like I don't think that this is working at all I also feel like the gummies are very sweet um, I end up buying a two-pack I kind of wish like I like I only had one my mom and I got it together it's I don't know it's just not the same thing that I used to have so this is definitely something that I will not be repurchasing um, and then the nature's made energy b12 this shit works my only little beefing to with this is that it it's kind of hard to to chew on like those that I just tossed in the bag I can chew my life with they're very like gummy and like clear to like get through if that makes sense but these are a little bit hard but I do really 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 like them I think the b12 works a lot I will probably not repurchase this just because I don't like the texture of the gummy but I think I want to get either like a B12 um, tincture next. But get into B12 if you're one of those people that kind of wakes up groggy in the morning and you just need like a surge of energy to like push you through. Um, working from home, this has been really amazing, especially if you want to transition out of coffee. After a, co after a while, coffee is not really good on your body just because it's very acidic and it'll, it'll I feel that too much acidic will break down your immune system and usually gets you sick. So B12 is a really good for that and it's got a it's got a huge like large amount uh of what's it i don't know what the fuck am i trying to say it's got um a thousand micrograms so i i can eat one and feel the intensity of this and i can get through a day i i would take this as early as maybe like seven or eight in the morning even if it's before my shift and i would i will see long lasting effects until like at least two or three um i haven't had a b12 that lasts any longer than that but then again you don't want anything that's going to surge your energy for that amount or of time. reverse trans res restoral cold press juice i got this at um i got this i think at whole foods i probably wouldn't purchase this again it let me just read what it has in it, it. Oop, let me read what it has in it. It's got raw organic dragon fruit juice, transverse restoral, organic goji, organic aloe vera gel, or juice, um, organic lime juice, organic pineapple, and raw organic ginger juice. Um, I got this during this like hype moment of I need to get all my vitamins between before pandem pandemia <laughs> pandemic um feeling surged in and i thought it was doing something but i didn't really notice a difference my problem with buying little juices like that is like that probably has a specific thing that will only work if you use it continuously it's not like one of those immune c boosters where you could just like pop it in and you feel it immediately those were just one of those things i wanted to try i don't know if i would recommend that i'm not even sure what rest, rest from blood, whatever that word 
artist, what it means. I bought it just because I, I fell into the hype. I'm definitely one of those people who like goes to Whole Foods or goes to certain shops and like I want to find something very unique and something that I think might work for me. But the bad side of that is that I end up I end up kind of buying things that like either I don't need or kind of a waste of money. So I've got to I've got to get better. We have at that. the Method Body Peony Rosewater Pink Saltwater Pure Peace Body Wash. I like this. I don't know if I am super in love. A friend of mine is a really huge fan of Method. I think they have good products. I just wasn't crazy about this body wash. It does smell nice. Um, but I find that in it, this, I have this thing where like when I get a product that has a certain scent, I have you notice I haven't found my scent and I switch through a lot of things and then like I get over them and like I enjoy multiple but I think it's time for me to find my favorite scent right now I think I'm using like a coconut body wash and that might just be enough for me especially with summer coming but I change my scents when I with with the seasons so I can't find one that's like permanent like I have a nice like oil mix that I use but you kind of get tired of like the peony just because after a while it just it gets like a little too it's more on the fruitier side i didn't think that this was moisturizing we have the dr teal's um pure epsom salt soaking solution wellness therapy this says rosemary and mint let me smell this down i like this it's a little too faux spa for me. My favorite one is the Himalayan salt. That one is to die for. It is the most relaxing next to the nighttime sleeping um, Epsom salt. I'm a huge fan of Dr. Teal. I think their entire brand uh, line of line of products and their brand are really, really good. Um, I like that there's something for everybody like there's something to detox it's for people there's stuff for people that work out a lot people who just need to relax like a lavender there's something to help sleep with melatonin which I don't think melatonin really works at all I've tried it and I've never really had good um in terms of like having it in the in the Epsom salt I'm a huge take a bath ass bitch I love baths I, if anyone tells me that they're stressed out I think that that's the solution for everything because a lot of the times we carry a lot of tension in our body and so sometimes taking a warm bath just like relaxes the nerves and I find that Epsom salt has always really helped me. I've, I've been taking baths my whole entire life but I think it's specific of like really incorporating Epsom salt baths into my life as a self-care routine that I feel isn't like a gimmicky one. It's, it's probably been going on like four or five years and it's like the best thing that I do and every time anytime that I feel like I'm in balance in some way a bath will get me right. In terms of this flavor I'm not that crazy about it. If you like rosemary and mint absolutely mint sometimes gets a little too sweet for me like just enough mint is right and rosemary really never really rocked my boat like that like I said my favorite one is the Himalayan salt one I don't know why I haven't re like reviewed or done that in the empties but that's probably the best one to get um, in terms of like getting a generic like Target brand or Walmart brand of Epsom salt I think that's fine but if you need that like aromatherapy I think Dr. Teal really does a really good uh, job with that is the Inus Free Sisa Sika balm with beige seed oil. I use okay, so the funny thing about this product is one of my good friends purchased like a I think like a four or five pack like um kit with Inus Freeze products in it. And I loved everything, but for some reason I never gravitated towards this because it was more on the th on the, like the thicker side. I do really like the the, the ingredients that it does have in the, to this. I started using this randomly. You know what I just realized? I'm behind on my birth control. Gotta get it together, sis. That's how much I don't want to be on birth control, but I'm in the middle of my video realizing that I am... Today's Wednesday? No, today's Thursday, wait. Today is Thursday. Wednesday. That's crazy. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. Thank God I ain't fucking. So anyways, back to my channel. Wow. Today's Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. Alright, so welcome back to my channel. So I started using um this really randomly and um i wasn't the craziest about it unless i had used a really detox
detoxifying mask in which I wanted to like have a good moisture barrier that was protected. I don't know if this necessarily helped me with my breakouts or that it helps with uneven texture. I liked it, but I don't, I didn't love it. There's another little thing. It's like a green clear. I'm going to try to insert a picture here when I, when I get to this, but I enjoyed um, some other products. A lot of my friends told me that this brand uses a lot of like, um, special kind of alcohol and it dries out the skin i didn't have any issues with drying out the skin but this is probably something that i, I wouldn't purchase i'm going to do a separate video for the hair um stuff that i want to talk about and so thank you guys so much for watching and thank you guys for always coming back it's a girl sherry if you want to know see this is new york city this is new york city um <laughs> This is fucking New York City. Um, so if you want to see my next video, I will try to link it here and not it's just New York City. It is what it is. We're gonna just wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment if you tried anything in the comment section below. All information will be listed below and I will see you guys next time.